So I didn't come here to tout, you know, or, or make the case why our waveguide outperforms uh, other technologies that's out there. This is, in general, an industry consensus. Anybody who's done side-by-side -side comparisons, um, you know, it's been conducted online by disinterested third parties. I've heard it from many of you actually in the crowd who have actually seen the various solutions and conducted side-by-sides, especially with challenging test patterns. Um, that is the fact. We're not coming to convince anyone. The one issue that keeps coming up is people keep thinking that our technology has this exotic waveguide, so is it really scalable? So the answer, of course, is yes. Everything starts with plates of glass. To make it easier to follow, the coated glass is in yellow, the uncoated glass is in gray. It starts with a simple uh, piece of glass, plate of glass, that we get from a variety of manufacturers. Very easy to achieve, no you know, crazy exotic refractive index. In this case, it's uh, BK7. Very, very simple. We put it through a coater. The coater is part of our secret Coca-Cola recipe. It's uh, you know, standard coating materials. These coatings actually represent a partial reflector inside the waveguide. So you put these through a massive coating machine, so you have these drums that it could actually hold hundreds of pieces in it. And the next step in the process is you stack these coated plates. On the top and bottom, the bigger slabs are actually the uncoated slabs. And then you could actually see over here, we denoted where we do the slicing. The stacking is also a very simple process, very standard process, the process that's been used for beam splitters for over 100 years. We'd use off-the-shelf optical adhesives. We use various vendors for it. We create our own recipes. And then this goes through a slicing process. We use wafer slicers, the same used in semiconductor. So everything we're doing here is using standard materials, standard processes, standard machineries. We take this, we get a bunch of slices out of it. Slice comes out like such. This is a slice. I don't know if you can tell through the lighting. There's actually the uh, facets, the partial reflectors already here. It comes out a little foggy, so we put it through a lap and polish machine, which brings it down to a nice, clean optical grade, and they come out looking like that. Then we just slice them. In many cases, we slice them in half, so you get two waveguides out of them, and we shape it for the particular shape of the eyewear that we're going to be selling it to. The whole case here we're making is about cost. Are we getting the cost down? So what we did here is um, we, we took our vision product, and we took that particular waveguide uh, using uh, BK7 glass, and you know, we did the cost modeling. At 100,000 waveguides per month, so that's 50,000 pairs per month, that's an entry-level consumer market quantity. Ultimately, we'd like to see that number go up to millions, but as we transition, you're going to have you know, a few hundred thousand units in the market as you uh, bridge that. But already at that point, we need to make sure that we're hitting uh, consumer pricing. We take all those processes we mentioned, coding, stacking, slicing, lapping, polishing, shaping, testing, and we factored in yields, and the yields are high, and the yields are very repeatable. And factoring all that overhead, factoring all the entire cost, it's the raw material cost plus $3. That's it. In terms of production, we do have an in-house production line that was established uh, in Israel uh, several years ago. Uh, we've shipped uh, tens of thousands of units uh, from our home base. And we also um, you know, announced a partnership with Quanta about a year and a half ago, Quanta Computer in Taiwan. And their production line has already started underway this past year with a major ramp up expected over the course of this year. And that partnership was extremely critical to help us really meet the need of this uh, consumer market that we see uh, happening, we see swelling up. It is mass manufacturable. I would challenge the other waveguide manufacturers to come up here and show their breakdown and their bomb, how they get to their pricing in mass consumer. We have a handful of copycats on the other side of the world. We're not going to call out on specific company names. Do you think that they'd be copying it if this was an extremely expensive process? I rest my case. <laughs>